I, um, this is Clay King, we're <clears throat> still playing with the cell, and we're trying to incorporate some suggestions from uh, H2O Power, and I'm just going to kind of go over the setup that we have here. Um, again, we're using uh, Max Miller's 9XA, and we're using also Max Miller's E-Core right here. Uh, that we've wrapped. We have um, our bridge rectifier, and this is a uh, thousand volt bridge rectifier. And um, we've uh, incorporated uh, the three pots that we're using on uh, both sides of the uh, pulse width and the frequency. Um, with this setup right now, we're running at about 30 volts and approximately four and a half amps. These variacs work kind of neat. They're a little restricted in that they only go to uh, five amps. Well, we cheat and put it in a bigger fuse, but um, it's only a five amp rectifier um, variac, and it works, it works well because you can watch the needles and they really kind of give you a sense of what's going on because uh, you can watch them pulse. Um, the rectifier and Oh, hang on. The rectifier and um, the transistor are mounted on a heat sink and they do get hot. And our blocking diode is mounted right here. And uh, this is going to be a little tough to kind of diagram out, but I'll try. Uh, you know, this is the wire right here with our blocking diode on it, and it's a white wire. And the other wire coming directly from the bridge rectifier is a black wire, and that's hot right now. Um, the white wire is running around uh, to our coils, and we've got, this is a 18 gauge wire wrapped on the, bifiller wrapped on the E-Core from Max Miller, and, um, and then we've got that hooked up to this cell. And this cell, Jerry made, has uh, five layers in it. It's got inch and a quarter, uh, and I'll, these are the ODs now. It's inch and a quarter OD, one inch OD, three quarter OD, and half inch OD, and then a three eighths um, very small rod on the inside. So there's, I think, five layers um, inside of this cell. And we seem to have better production with that than we had with just a single uh, two layers. Um, we tried um, a suggestion by H2O Power of changing up the wiring on how we wire the E-Core and that's in my uh, one of my previous videos, his suggestions as to where to go and look up how to wire this and we tried it and the, it just it almost pinned the uh, well it did pin the uh, amp meter uh, right away on just a single core uh, you know two cell design so we're running we were running two six inch tubes, one inch and a quarter on the outside, the other one inch on the outside, and it just it just pegged it. So we went back to this because it seemed this seems to reduce the amount of uh, volts and amps that it takes to run. Um, and we hooked up a wire to every single one of the um, electrodes. So we've got five wires up here running to all the electrodes. And we tried to run them, uh, hook them together so that they were, you know, opposite. So you had... Uh, you know, one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative. And I don't know if you can see the actual layers of the cell in there, um, but uh, they, uh, they're all in there. And um, when we tried to run it with uh, every other, um, it, it would also peg it. The amps were just too, too much for this very act. Um, so we, we're running this design right now. If somebody has a suggestion as to how to drop the amps further with uh, just two cells, we really appreciate it. Um, I think we already tried just adding more cells because we have like six, uh, you know, just dual cell designs. And we tried those in series and I don't think we dropped our amps either. Um, but something that's really interesting about this, this wiring setup of the core is this isn't the radio making the noise anymore. That's the core. And that core is making the noise that you're hearing. And we did put a gap in it. If you look really closely, 
right here, I doubled up a piece of electrical tape and put that in between on the core. And I did that on both sides, and then just we just electric taped around the outside of the core to hold it together. And we've been playing with this core for a while, and we weren't getting this kind of flux out of um, out of this until we hooked it up like H2O power suggested. And you can hear the vibration that's going on. Now, if I move this core a little bit, you can hear the different sounds as I'm changing how it's hitting. Now, this is sitting on a wood table, and if I press this together tighter, you know, obviously the tape is loosened up a little bit, but if I press this, it'll go away. So, as I press it, you, you know, I can feel the vibrations from this core, and if I compress it together really tight, you can stop the sound, and you can't hear that flux that's going on, you can't hear it. But when you have a little bit of relaxation in it, you can actually feel it and you can hear it. And we also noticed that there is definitely, you know, like a north and a south to these cores. So if you take a compass and you go around it, it will point, so that's the south pole, because the compass, I don't know if I'm showing this right, the compass is south no matter how I move it around the top of the core, it's south, and if I do it to the opposite side, it comes out north all the way around. And it was just really interesting, the flux lines that are that are happening uh, off of this. Um, probably standard for a lot of you, but it's just interesting to me. Um, so uh, we're getting half-decent production out of this, and this really does seem to be... Uh, mostly hydrogen. Um, you're not really getting, there might be a tiny bit of heat in this, but this is staying fairly cool compared to um, some of the other recent setups that we um, have had. And uh, so it seems to be mo making mostly hydrogen off of this cell. And uh, so we're, if any, Anybody has any other suggestions of how to hook this up or any other additions or deletions uh, we would really appreciate it because we're trying to figure this out ourselves and we don't have the expertise that a lot of you guys have so uh, any and all suggestions would be uh, appreciated thank you for watching Clay King